good game. A lot of energy, a lot of emotions in that game. I guess a team that really scores the ball. I think that was that was my biggest concern going into the game, how well they scored the ball the last four games, shooting almost 49% from the field. Uh, two guys shooting over 50% from three, and, and, and one of them was an Alfred. So that means they're shooting the ball really well as a team. So but I thought our guys did a great job defending that three-point line. I, I still you know, remember vividly the two threes that Alfred made. Um, I think there was more breakdown on us. So, but we wanted to make sure he had to make plays. Hamilton had to make plays. Couldn't allow those guys just to beat you. Make it tough on those guys. Someone else beat us. So, uh, Holiday had a good game, but we were willing to give up some. We couldn't let those key guys just make plays and dominate the game. So, good, good, good team win. And Tony Parker, one on one, we'd take our chance. We knew he would score the ball down there because he's physical, he's tough. But I thought, you know, Cameron King did a solid job defending him. Uh, so you mean going into Sunday? Yeah. Uh, play hard. You know, again, we, we talk about enjoy it, uh, and the victory. Once 3 o'clock hit tomorrow, it's back to work. Uh, you know, my job is to control what I can control, and as far as the, the emotions, to take care of the task at hand. We got, we got plenty of stuff we can watch on film where we broke down, so guys won't come in with their chest sticking out because I can make sure I, I can humble them real quick when I put that video in. Uh, so that part will take care of it. Then, it's, again, it's back to work, but, but they want to be good. They understand what it, what it means and what it feels like to play well, to play with each other. So, so, so they pass that stage of, of individual accolades and stats. They want to be a successful team. So now it's understanding uh, what we need to do. And, and, and you can see it in timeouts and huddles when guys hold each other accountable. They say certain things that I, I used to always have to say all the time, and now they say it. So that's when you're growing as a team. But... I can't control the part where, where, where they read um, because they get information through their phone, TVs, and all. I can't control that. But my job is to make sure they understand the task at hand. Is a, and the most important thing is winning a basketball game and protecting our home court. And whatever happens out there in history, it is what it is. But we got to make sure we protect our home court. How big do you think Jafari's emergence has been in this Oh, it's been great. But, but again, I, I, I'm so happy for him as a coach because – he puts the work in. He doesn't complain. Uh, he put a tremendous amount of work and hours into his game of being a good basketball player, and he's, and he's one of the best team guys I've ever been around. So when you have success, you're happy as a coach because you know what it means. You know the work he puts into it. Uh, but it, it takes us to another level because he's an elite shooter, and when he's shooting the ball like that, that means Jalen can do what he needs to do. Ivan and Tyrone can do what they need to do because, it's, you know, when you go into a game, I mean, everybody's good, but it's hard to defend Jalen and Tyrone one-on-one -on -one off the dribble. Especially now, you have guys making shots. You have to make a decision. Uh, and, 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 and Jabari shooting the ball, he's shooting at a high level. And I thought he passed up a couple in the first half, but when he's making shots, we're a tough team to beat. Yeah, I think it's just a growth of a team, but and Jordan has to make sure he consistently shoot him. I thought he passed up a couple because he has to be ready to shoot him at all times. Um, because he, he's an elite shooter as well. But, but, but again, it's not – we talk about it all the time. It's not just about, you know, three-point shots. It's dribble penetration, getting to the lane, getting to the free throw line, and we didn't do a great job there again. But I, I didn't think we did a very good job of getting the ball in the post. And, I, and, and just watching from the sideline, I, I don't know how well our bigs posted up to receive the ball against the zone. And then I, I have to watch the film to be more specific about that. Oh, really, really, it's just whatever. I can't remember exactly what was taking place. I knew we called a timeout to settle the guys down, but just really lock in on the defense side of the ball because we were getting shots. As long as you're getting shots, you're getting the looks that you want to get, you're fine. More than anything, I think a couple of times we were weak with the ball, driving the ball. We have to be strong as far as attacking the rim. You can't get over the back off fouls, so now we put those guys on the free throw line. But other than that, offensively, I thought we were getting what we were trying to get. It just shots would go. I, you know, I've never been one of those guys that, you know, uh, you know, giving some great speech. Okay, let's let's this the last run. Let's try to make it work because it, I, th I think you have to be consistent in what you're doing, and I think that's why we've always been able to have success down the stretch because the consistency and guys grow. They continue to get better. They understand their roles. You tighten your bench up. Your players know when they're playing the game, and 
and just make them understand the important things of being a team, winning. This is what we need to do to win. And I think the biggest thing with this team is understand that if you can defend at the level you're capable of defending at, then you can have results behind it. Because you can score the ball. We'll put, our position, we'll put ourselves in position to score the ball. But if we can defend at the way we're capable of defending, then we can have a, a tremendous amount of success. Mm. Uh, how excited are you about this, you know, just going down right now and seeing how the team Well, I just think the biggest key for me as a coach is to see the joy when you see a player gets better. Like Jabari, to see the way Cam, Cam, Cam is playing. That's exciting for me to see. See, see the growth of Jalen Brown. Yeah, he's a talented young guy, but he's made a tremendous amount of strides. Uh, so when, when you see guys get better, that part is good for me as a coach. Uh, so tonight, uh, so I just take a better flow because they're, they're, they're a really good scoring team. They can score the ball. I, I think for us, we, we, we might have been up 10 here, 10 they turn the ball over, make a play, miss a free throw, and they make a shot, they make a bad. I mean, just two good teams. And, and uh, the, the anxiety of a game, you know, our guys maybe trying to win a home game, they're trying to win a game to stay alive. So you have a lot of things going on. Then both teams settle down the second half. You start making plays, the game start to flow a little bit more. I mean, that's all I can think of. We knew they could score the ball. Uh, just we just wanted to limit their key guys from scoring the ball. Um, I don't lose any sleep over. To be honest with you, I mean I think sometimes it is what it is. Uh, I mean every year somebody's going to be last in the league in free throw shooting. I mean I just I, I just think you you have to fight the battles you need to fight uh, because I know they spend time on it. I know they spend a lot of time working on free throws individually as a team in practice I, I'm I, I don't I don't waste time on it I, I don't because it's not like one guy has a bad shooting technique uh, and because I think what happens when you shoot free throws now I'm putting pressure on them makes free throws I'm, I'm in the air the whole time now all of a sudden they're really missing them so I don't I don't I don't deal with it I don't I don't just really just tighten the screws up, and I know I say that all the time. You guys probably, what does that mean? You know, just every little thing we have to be better at it. But but it's from the start of the season up until now, and maybe it's a case of guys realize, okay, if we do this, we can't have success. As opposed to understanding in the beginning, let's do these things. Uh, I mean, it, it, you look at our team. We played in Las Vegas. I mean, we we had we had a talented team. But we weren't a very good team. We were, we were a soft team. We didn't play hard. We didn't compete. We didn't defend. All those things. You know, I have to come in here and say the right things after the game. But I mean, we weren't. I mean, I mean, you guys saw that. It was just a, a team that needed a lot of work, um, but they stayed the course and they believed in each other. And that's why you see the results you see now. Well, you know, uh, like again, we have certain sayings that so it's, it's probably hard. But basically, if a guy's in the corner, you, you you don't you don't help on certain guys out of the corner if he's a shooter. Uh, on the ball screen, we're supposed to be doing this. We talked about this in the timeout. Uh, our game plan was this, guys. Why aren't you back on defense? You should have been back when he shot the ball. So all those things, everything. I'm, when I'm over there yelling all the time, I'm not necessarily yelling at a player. I'm yelling, kind of like a six man, uh, giving information that those guys should be saying. So I don't I don't have to say it as much as I used to. I still yell a lot for, but really to assist. But but all all more more things on the defensive side of the ball. I've always I've always been a guy on, on offense. You have to be able to play. You you can't be a robot offensively. Read the defense and make plays. But defense, everybody has to be on the same page. We can't have breakdown there. I think I think that 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 stat line right there will. will well, um, again, who, who knows the future? We'll, we'll have Tyrone playing at a professional level for a long time. That's that line right there. I mean, that, that, that is it because the guys you have around you, he has the ability to do that. Ten rebounds, you know, six or seven assists. Well, he can score seven points, 15 points, whatever. But that's the line right there. And, and I thought he, d he did want his better job defending tonight. I, I, don't, I hadn't seen Tyrone defend at a high level consistently all year, and I thought he did a better job tonight.
and teams that you've seen, what, what, do you, what can you tell us about them from a stylistic standpoint? That, that, you know, well, to be specific, I'll start watching film on those guys tomorrow, but just watching them, uh, very athletic, very talented. And I, I, I said it maybe at the Pac-12 media day, it's one of the better teams in our league, probably the most athletic team in our league, along with Washington. But they have guys that can make shots. They have really good guards. They can make plays. They can shoot the ball. They can get to the rim. They're quick. They can defend you. Their bigs are athletes. They can score it around the rim. Uh, so it, it'll, be a, it'll be a great game because they have, they have all the parts to be very successful. But they score in a lot of ways. I mean, that type of team can, can get 90 up on you quick. Scrap that speech I just said. <laughs>